speak to me amongst the street routine Controlling yourself As you try to understand the whole My main influences are the Smiths, uh, Paul Weller, I've been into Paul Weller since I'm... Uh, the Cure up there, they're um, you know, a great, great band, like, I've loved them for quite a while. I've got um, Baby Shambles, Ian Curtis from Joy Division, uh, I love Joy Division quite a lot, it's a lot, a lot more darker but the lyrics are incredible as well, some of the lyrics. Baby Shambles, they supported them at um, The Veil in Cricklade. And uh, that was a real good one. Uh, well, um, yeah, so the Baby Shambles gig, it was just um, it was just like a real small pub. Like it wasn't anything big, like no more than a hundred people. So yeah, it was a real small, like you know, unheard of secret gig, which was really cool. Like everyone was going mad. And uh, yeah, I, I met him as well. I went upstairs and spoke to him for a bit. And yeah, I want well, I, well, I want to play music because I enjoy the music. I don't want to play because. I don't want to make it because of the money or the fame. Like, I just want it purely for the music. I, that's what I'm working hard for. And yeah, the fame side of it, like, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind, but it's not what I'd be in it for. I'd be in it for the masses to hear me. I used to be on the drums for a band called uh, The Purple Streams. That that was quite a while ago. I was about, I started when I was seven. We, we changed names a few times, but it ended up being a covers band, going out for money. And uh, yeah, we we played a couple of gigs. Um, we played one around the corner from us in a pub, and um, I think we were playing to the bar stuff. And I think I'm and my dad might have been there. So that's that's the sort of scale of the audience, very very small. And we saw it as more of a practice. But as it goes on, like we sort of look look, we we play gigs now where there's a lot of people, and uh, we'll look back on that one and like you know laugh about it, but. It's all within experience. Yeah. In a couple of years time I wouldn't mind headlining Glasgow. Um yeah, just to, just there. Like make big big time, like for everyone to listen. But I want it for the music as well, not for fame at all. So I just want I want everyone to hear my music. Like, I've been working on this, you know, for a long time. I've been doing music for five or six years. And it's like I, I just want it to be heard now by masses. Obviously, the Crick Club one with the Baby Shambles, that was a great highlight. Uh, we played, uh, I played Witchwood. That was um, at the high top. It was one of the main stages, so it was a real good, real good crowd as well. It was great. Um, but I've got a band behind me now, my music. So the music's a lot, a lot louder, a lot more energetic. And uh, we've just been sort of getting the stuff together. And uh, we went to the studio last Thursday or Friday and we've got some tracks down now and they're all available on MySpace and yeah I'll be releasing that uh, on CD and stuff you'll probably see me handing them out and that so. oh, see I write songs and they're about they're about people I, I meet and th things I see so it, it will come out not it's not just like that sort of typical e easy way you got, it's, it's, you've got to think about the lyrics to understand them it's not just a case of it's there it's nice to sort of challenge your listeners so they've they've got they've got something to look at when they're listening. You know, I like lyrics about, you know, persons like lives, not about stuff that doesn't occur or doesn't matter to them. That like it's gotta mean something. Like like I'm saying Ian Curtis, like obviously he had um he had, he had so many things going on in his life and a lot of his lyrics are based around that. So it's nice to understand about people's lives. I'd love to be playing the O two, O two arena um, yeah, big academies, but I, I, the one thing I'd love to do is when I'm, if I do ever make it big, if I'm fortunate enough, I'd love to go back to somewhere in Swindon that's small, and where I owe it back to Swindon, yeah, because there's some venues that have been, treated me well and been really nice, so I'd love to come back. Well, um, my brother's in a band called Napoleon in Rags, and, um, yeah, I, I love the band, I see them a lot, and, um, obviously it's for my brother as well, like, our family's attached to the band as well, so I'd love to, I wouldn't mind going on tour with them, it'd be a good laugh, and yeah, that'd be great, Napoleon Rags, I think. Uh, on the wall, on the big wall, it's, um, it'd probably be The Cure, I'd say, but 
I do love Kings of Leon as well. They're just such a big band. But um, yeah, no, I wouldn't mind supporting Kings of Leon. And I've been writing a fair few songs recently. I've uh, written Hanging on a Hook, which I've just recorded. Um, so beautiful. And uh, the newest one I've written is called Hold Your Horses, which is about the fact that you should stop and think before you, you know, look at someone else and think that you want everything or some things that they have when really you have everything you need and you shouldn't you shouldn't really look at someone when you've got your perfect health and really our lives could be a lot worse.